Alright guys, so I'm about to go pick up this Suzuki Quadzilla. Um, it's up for 1800 bucks. The guy said I could pick it up for 1575 he said. So, this thing's pretty sweet. Um, I have never seen a Quadzilla for this cheap, so I think we're going to go pick it up, see if it runs and drives, and uh, hopefully bring it home. So stay tuned, it should be pretty exciting. Alright guys, on our way, I'm pretty pumped for this thing. I've never seen a Quadzilla for $15.75 in my whole entire life. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. I'm, I'm feeling pretty pumped about it. I was going to go pick it up tomorrow, but I, I know how Facebook works and it'd be gone by tomorrow. So we've got about 28 minutes until we get there. The guy said he's holding it for me. So we should be good to go there. Um, other than that, the guy said it ran and drives pretty good. Um, the back plastic, he said, was a little bit cracked, which isn't a big deal. And uh, if it runs and drives great, I'm buying it for sure because you cannot find one for that price anywhere. Um, but yeah, it's it should be pretty cool. It's all original, it looks like. Um, I've never had an original one like this one, so it should be a pretty cool buy. We're gonna get in the back of the truck and then we're gonna do a quick walk around before it gets dark, try to start this beast up and um, maybe do like a quick ride. But I don't know if I can or not um, ride down the road by my apartment. That might be a little sketch. But I will for sure if we can. And if it's uh, before dark, I'm definitely taking it for a rip down the road. All right, guys, but we're going to get there. We're going to try to uh, maybe get the price down a little bit lower, try to find some flaws with it, and hopefully we can get it for like 13, 14, 15, 100 bucks. That'd be awesome. So stay tuned. We've got 26 minutes left on the clock. It'll be in the back of the truck in no time. Guys, it's almost dark, but I got the beast. It's in the back. Thing flies for what it is. Man, it's pretty fun. I think it's an 87, if I'm not mistaken, if I read the ad right. Um, and I took it down this road right here, and man, it flies. You can just see this, the, the, you can just see the suspension go up, and uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Ooh, look at the windmills. But yeah, um, I think we're gonna test it out right here quick on the side of the road and go over some of the features because by the time I get back home, I think it might be dark. Then we can uh, continue the vlog in the morning and take it for a quick test drive down the road or something. But yeah, it's a pretty nice machine. Uh, zero leaks. Uh, he replaced the seal by the front sprocket. And uh, he said the tires have low leaks in the back. He said after two days, they become flat. But other than that, he said it was pretty pretty good. The plastics in the back are a little bit cracked, but nothing's too serious. It still looks pretty good. And I think that's pretty much it. So we'll do a quick walk around here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's a pretty cool, cool machine. Um, got it for $15.75. He, he said he had a bunch of other offers on it, and uh, he said that he was just looking to get rid of it. Um, he bought it, I, he said he bought it like a half a year ago, before winter. And he said his wife didn't want him to have it, which could be a load of crap. I have no idea. But it seemed to be good to me. I, I checked it over as best as I could. No leaking coolant. He said the water pump worked um, and all that good stuff. So I'm trusting him here, and I hope it I hope it works out. Um, the only issue it does have is it doesn't idle, which he said could be a pilot jet, which, yeah, it could be. I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to check into it a little bit more. But I'm pretty pumped for it. It'll be a pretty cool little build series on it. We're probably going to rebuild the carburetor, um, paint some of the stuff on it, and just go through the whole machine just to make it look perfect. I know these things go for like three grand, so it, it wasn't a bad buy. Um, and it started, it started fifth kick cold and then second kick warm, so I thought that was pretty good. But yeah, let's take a quick look at it right on the side of the road over here probably do it right let's see if there's a there's a driveway right there all right guys uh, so here's what it looks like um, it's got the old-school blue and yellow a lot of people like that it's got the blue motor um, looks like it was just painted his one big hole the guy said he found it in a barn and uh, this is how it was it's completely stock it looks like it's got the blue rims um, or the blue 
blue wheels with the, the chrome rims, um, little DG pipe on it, uh, pretty nice. No leaks whatsoever. It's got the lights on it. I wonder, I wonder if the lights work or not, but uh, it's got really, really, really good compression, which is good. I'll have to check it with a compression gauge, um, but no leaking from the coolant. The water pump is right here, and I think we saw that working, so that's good to go. Um, brakes all work. Everything works like that. It's a nice looking machine, and I think I'm pretty happy with it. Took off the seat, looked at the air filter, that was pretty good. Wasn't dirty at all, so that was also really good. So yeah, that's the that's the new machine. Pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, so we'll get it home, start her up, and take it for a test drive, so stay tuned. All right guys, just got home with the Quadzilla. As you can see, it's nice and light out. It's the next day. So we're gonna take this guy off the off the truck and see if it starts. Um, I tried kicking it over my shoe and uh, the compression was way too high, couldn't do it. Uh, it like instantly hurt my foot. So uh, the plan for this thing, I think we're gonna maybe um, take off these wheels, paint these shocks, paint these, um, these metal bars right here. Um, so we're gonna paint this whole suspension area. We're going, the frame looks really good. It looks like the frame was repainted at one time. That looks really, really good. The frame looks really, really good. Uh, we're gonna take off the pipe, paint that black with some high temp paint. We're gonna go through all the fluids. The guy said he changed the oil, so we don't have to do that. I'm guessing he did the coolant too, but we might as well check the coolant as well. Um, actually, I'm gonna do that right now, I think. Um, tires look pretty decent. There's a little bit of tread left on it. Brakes all work, so we don't have too much to do to it. It would be nice to get a new back plastic piece because that's pretty broken on it. Um, and I think I wanna get a new air filter as well because I'll show you in a little bit, but the air filter is pretty much junk on it. It's all cracked and stuff, but I mean, it's decent. At least it has one on there. Um, grips look like they're brand new, brand new grips on it, and the bars look pretty pretty new. It's fly racing bars on it, so. Uh, the seat looks in pretty good condition considering it's uh, original, and I don't know if it's missing graphics or not. It would be nice to get a new 500 sticker for right here, and I think the other side has one on here. I'm not sure. Yep, 500 sticker right here. So if we get two new 500 stickers, that'd be pretty sweet. You can see the patching job for the plastics right there. <laughs> pretty crazy. Uh, it does have the back light on it. Does it have a front light? Uh, it does not have a front light. But uh, anyway, let's get this thing unloaded and uh, see what this thing sounds like. Alright, so we got it unloaded here. Quick walk around of the machine. And uh, we've got the 500 mark right here, 499 centimeters cubed. So that is a 500 motor in there. Um, let's look at the VIN number here to make sure M1031045 is the VIN for that one. And uh, yeah, everything else looks pretty good. It's not too bad. Check underneath the motor. Make sure that's not cracked or anything. The bolt's still there, that's good. I don't see any cracks on the motor. No cracks by the boot on the carb. Looks all good on the head. Nothing leaking on the tubes for the coolant. So everything looks like it's there. Looks pretty good. Tires held air overnight, so that was good. Let's take a look underneath the seat here. Let's see what that looks like here. All right. 
There's the air filter in there. It's a yellow one, matches the uh, the Quadzilla. It's kind of funny. Um, put that back on. Seat on the bottom looks pretty clean. It's not too bad. So pre overall, pretty good right now. Let's see if this thing fires up. Um, we've got run and off right here, so turn to run. And there's a key right here, which I believe on position is that way. So turn it to on. Got the gas on, let's see. Let's put it to on. I'm not sure if the reserve works or not. And uh, the choke, we'll choke it down I think first. And uh, yeah, let's kick this thing over. I'm going to uh, quick grab a boot from the garage because this thing is insane to kick over. So let's quick do that and then kick this beast over. All right, so I wear, I wear size 13 boots. So the motocross boot that I have doesn't even fit in between the uh, <laughs> plastics to kick it over. So I have to just wear this kind of boot. So hopefully this goes pretty well. Let's see. running. Looks pretty good. We'll take it for a quick test drive. So that's the Quadzilla. We're gonna take it for a quick test drive up and down the road here and uh, just see what that looks like here quick. Man, this thing is insanely fast. It's, I bet you it's faster than the other ones. It, it's just, it just flies. It's crazy. Man. It actually like handles pretty well too. The suspension's pretty nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's gonna be fun. I ripped it around the yard a little bit. Down the road, going like in fourth gear. 
thing is insane. This is gonna be crazy. I think we should race it against the YZ490. That would be insane. Oh man, that'd be a good race. But yeah, anyway, um, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, next video, we're definitely gonna be ripping this thing around. Um, hopefully trail ride it or something. And uh, yeah, but anyway, my Instagram is two underscore vintage underscore. If you guys wanna check that out, I do behind the scenes. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So thanks, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing. Leave some positive comments down below. Until next time, we are out.